What is up, people? This is Abraham Walker with Ask A Walker, your Northern Virginia real estate agent. In this video, we're covering all the steps in the process of using the Fairfax County uh, Library System's partnership with Overdrive to read Kindle books, also to listen to audiobooks, and I want to show you a bonus tip of getting access to other library um, systems that have reciprocal agreements with the Fairfax County system. So on the Fairfax County Library, this video is for individuals who already have accounts. Um, I believe at Fairfax County Library at this time, uh, at the time of this video being recorded, we're going through the uh, coronavirus. Um, so a lot of people are inside their properties at this time. Um, so it looks like you can register for an account online now. Um, but I want to show you where once you once you have your account and you you log into the information. Let's go to. So you go to this uh, department resources and you just go to Overdrive. Um, and once you once you have your library card with Fairfax County, you can sign in to Overdrive uh, with the with your library card number and the password that that uh, that Fairfax County uh, allows you. I'll be sure to blur that out. Um, so that's on the the website, right? So this is all stuff that you have to do on your computer first. Um, once you have that all situated, right? All right, so um, now we're gonna talk about downloading the apps. When you download the apps, uh, I'm using an Android device, you wanna look up the Amazon Kindle app, download that app, and you want the Overdrive app, and then you want to download this Overdrive app. Um, once you get into the, uh, once you've downloaded both apps, you wanna log in with the, your respective account. So with Overdrive, you wanna uh, log in uh, again, on with the same password as your Fairfax County uh, library card account, and you'll get to this main page here. Right? So, what we're going to do now is we're going to talk about searching for uh, books. On this main page, Fairfax County has whatever partnership that they're working on at this time. They also want us to move to the, the Libby app. Um, it's supposed to be easier to use. I'm just accustomed to using the Overdrive app, um, so I don't use Libby. And then they also have some books that they're free featuring, like if there is any, um, if there is any information, uh, any partnerships that they're working on at this time, that information is also accessible um, on this front page. So let's talk about searching for books. There's two ways to search for books. There is the, the easiest way, right, to just type in an author's name, right? So we have Malcolm Gladwell, popular author. I love his content. Then we have, if you were looking for, um, let's see, if you had a, if you had a book you want to read, uh, let's see. Let's see, Shift. This is a real estate book. Oh, what is that? I don't even know what that meant. All right, I don't know what that is. I don't know what that is. I'm looking for a book called Shift. Shift. It's a real estate book. Doesn't look like it's here on this first page. A lot of exotic things. Ugh. Didn't mean for that to happen. Whoa, that's not what we're looking for. All right, so they don't have. Oh, there it is. So this is the book I'm looking for. They don't have it in X. They don't have it in uh, uh, in their uh, library. But that's two ways, right? So you have you can search by author, and then you can search by uh, the book's name. The next way you can search is through the advanced search, right? And so the way you get the way you access the advanced search is you go up to the search bar. Um, and then advanced will be one of the drop down options and you can either do title, author, subjects, availability, audience, date, add it for all these uh, options, right? Even levels, they have these interest levels. I don't I don't like the levels uh, part, uh, probably because I, I don't know what it means. 
Um, so I'm pretty sure whoever knows what this means likes this part. I don't use this part. What I use, uh, to be honest with you, is if, if I don't know, if I'm just looking for some content, I usually use this for, I'm a big audiobook uh, person, so I like to listen to books either while I'm working out or while I'm on walks or when I'm driving uh, on long trips. Uh, or when I'm just going on trips in general. And so what I'll do is I'll, I'll look at a subject that I want to um, kind of uh, dive into. Usually I'm in the business section, the personal development section, or economics. So let's look in the economics section right here. And then I'll go to availability, and I'll say available now. And then I will go into formats, right? And so formats let you know all the available formats that the, the, uh, this app has uh, to offer. And then I would just go to MP3 audiobook, right? For this, uh, to search uh, for that process. But in this next section, we're going to cover actually uh, downloading and accessing uh, a Kindle book, right? So let's let's move into that part of our video, and then I'll show you the audiobook after after this session, right? So now we're going to look for Kindle books. And we're still in that advanced search. Then we go to the bottom of this screen right here, and then we go to search. Okay, so these are all um, books that are uh, based on economics, right? The category is economics, and these are available right now for me to download um, on audiobook. So let's go, let's do this Eric Barker um, book. And just to let you know what what's available uh, when you select the book uh, at the book at the top of the book they have the uh, at the top of the page they have the uh, photo of the book they have the star rating of the book I, I, I'm not sure where this star rating system come from and is there um, also there is the if you click on this Eric Barker right here it'll show you all of the books that Eric Barker has in the library system and then there's this brief write-up right here by the Wall Street Journal uh, we also have how many copies are available if you want to add it to a wish list which is really something that I, I use to to if I'm searching for books I see something that I like but I don't necessarily have enough time to read or uh, to uh, digest that particular book I'll put it on my wish list for uh, for later and uh, to, to read later right and there's even something that talks about reading uh, the sample uh, read the sample of the book and you can uh, look at the, the sections that this book is located in and some other stuff, right, that I don't really use. Okay, so now let's go into getting this book on our Kindle. So we're gonna go to borrow. Um, on the Fairfax County system, you, you're allowed to borrow 10 pieces of content, um, 10 books, either ebook or uh, audiobook, and for 21 days. And so we're going to borrow uh, this book. It's gonna spin around and it's gonna tell us, okay, great, now we want to read this now with the Kindle. It even gives us the date that we need to return this book. When we select Read Now with Kindle, this page right here, this is not the Amazon app. This is actually a web page. So it's a, it's almost like a, a um, what is it called? Uh, it's like Firefox or Google Chrome uh, for the uh, OverDrive app. So the, you're seeing this in a web browser, uh, browser page, right? And so if you don't have it, uh, since I use this service already on, on my end, uh, it already has my Amazon account logged in or saved. Uh, so you will have to log in on this screen. So just imagine you have to log in and then you'll come to this page right here and it'll ask you where do you want to get, um, where do you want to deliver this library book to. First you want to use this drop down menu right here and select whatever device you have. Now. It makes sense for you to, to organize your Kindle devices, uh, but that, that's for another video at another time. Um, so we are gonna download this on our uh, Note 9, and then we're gonna get this library book. This is the confusing part right here. When you press this Read Now in the Kindle app, it's not going to send you to the Kindle app. What it's going to send you to is this web browser page, right? It, it For some reason, OverDrive hasn't fixed this kink in the system, and that's that's no worries. All we're going to do is we're going to go into the OverDrive, uh, the, the Kindle app, right? So we're gonna go into the Kindle app. We're gonna see that the book is already there. No thanks. No thanks. 
All right, and there we go. Barking Up the Wrong Tree by Eric Barker. Yep. And this is information about the book. They want you to buy the book, of course. We're not doing that. That defeats the purpose. And there you have it. So now we have the, the book. Now we're going to download an audiobook, right? And so for the audiobook, it's the same process. Same process. Uh, remember, we go into, uh, and this is this is for if you don't know what the audiobook is, uh, if you just want to download any audiobook that has has to do with a certain genre. Um, so we're going to do the same thing. We're going to go into advanced search. We're going to go to the subjects. Um, let's also go into let's go into chemistry. I'm never I'm never going into chemistry. We're going to go into availability now, available now, and then we're going to go into formats, MP3 audiobook, and we're going to search. Right. Well, there's only two, two chemistry books, so let's get this, uh, the the Dorito effect. All right, and so remember, um, well, I guess I can show you this. You don't have to go into this screen. You don't have to click right here. You could actually just press borrow right here, and it'll do the same thing. So that'll save you a couple clicks if you are in a rush. We're not in a rush. But this is just a video talking about the process. All right, and so you press borrow. Remember, 21 days. We're gonna press borrow. Now it's going to actually start, it's going to give us the option to download. So you have to press this button right here, download the MP3 book. This is actually going to download it to the, um, the OverDrive app. And so you listen to the book inside of the app. To get to, to access the book, there is these, uh, this, this, this menu button here um, at the top left hand corner. And then you're going to go to bookshelf. Uh, once you get to bookshelf, we go to this Dorito effect. It's still downloading, but this is where you listen to. All right. Okay. So so now that's how we that's how we access the book. Okay. So enjoy the audiobooks. The last step I want to show you is I want to show you all of the libraries that I have access to through Overdrive. We've been in Northern Virginia now for since 2013, uh, and one of our, our projects was to get access to all of the libraries that we have reciprocal agreements to because we live in Fairfax County, right? So we live in the Kingstown area, which is in Fairfax County. And because of the reciprocal agreements with all of these other libraries, we get access to the city of Alexandria, uh, Arlington, uh, we get access to District of Columbia. Columbia, Loudoun County, uh, and Prince William County. There's also another one. Wait, where's my other one? Prince William. We have one. I, I don't see the other one. That, 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 that's fine. I think it's Prince something, another Prince. Anyway, um, so the reason why we do this is because if you can't find a book in uh, Fairfax County Library uh, on Overdrive, you can then do a search in all of these other libraries and find what you're looking for. So I hope that information helps you, the partnership that uh, Fairfax County Library has with the OverDrive uh, system. And if you, have any question, if you have any questions, please post them down below. I'm pretty sure I can answer any question that you may have. And your, the answer to your question will probably answer uh, someone else's question. Uh, if you would like, you can also shoot me an email to abraham at askawalker.com or call or text me 703-539-2053. I will see you on the next video. Peace.